What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to learn how to control the model appearance of our Navisworks Manage 2022 model. Okay, so we are going to learn how to add lighting or change the lighting effect of our model. And then we are also going to learn how to change the render mode or the visual style of our model and change the background as well. Okay, so the first one is changing the scene light or the lightings. Okay, so as you can see, if you go to the viewpoint, you can see the render style there. So this is what I'm talking about, the lighting. So as you can see, there is no lighting on my model here. Okay, because there's no lighting. So it uses no lights. So all geometry is rendered with flat color. So if we're going to click that drop down arrow, so you can select here full lights. So let's see how it looks like. So let's click that one. And that's how your full lights looks like. Okay, so what is this full lights? So this full light mode, it uses lights that have been defined with the Autodesk rendering tool. Okay, so if you are using the Autodesk rendering tool and then you change or modify the lightings there. So that is the one that we, that, will gonna be applied on your current view if you are going to use uh, full lights okay by the way if you go to the render tab and then you can select there the one that I'm talking about the auto uh, autodesk rendering or you can press Control F4 so if you click that so there's an option here like you are creating a light and then you will be able to set up your light okay so once you set up the light if you go to the viewpoint and then you select here the full lights, so that is the type of light that will going to be applied here on your model. Okay, so the other one here is scene lights. So as you can see, there's not much difference. So what is this uh, scene lights? So this uh, scene lights mode uses the lights that have been brought through from the native CAD file. So let's say for example, so this model has been uh, brought from Revit model. So in Revit model, there is already a scene light that is already applied in this model. So once you brought that model here in Abyss work, that is the type of the lightings that you will be getting if you select scene lights. And if there is no lights available, so two default opposing lights are used instead. And you can also customize the intensity of the scene lights using our file options. File options, where's that? Just right click at the blank space and then you can now see there your file options. The shortcut is Shift F11. So you can click that one. And then you can check now here the scene lights. So as you can see, you can change there the intensity of the scene lights here. So you can change that, right? So you can change the intensity of that one. Okay, so let me just select cancel here. Now the next option here is headlight. Okay, so let me select the headlight here. And there you go. So what is this headlight? So this mode uses a single directional light located at the camera that always points in the same direction as the camera. Just like in our case here, so our camera is here. Okay, so this is the location of our headlight. So if we change our view here, so that is the lighting. So if I select scene lights here again, and then I select your headlight. So as you can see, there's the changes. So again, so this uh, headlight uses a single directional light located at the camera that always points to the same direction as the camera. And you can customize the headlight properties in the file options again. All right, so you just explore the file options. Again, just right click and then select file options. Okay, so there is the headlight that I'm talking about. So you can modify that one. Okay, go, right. All right, so let me just cancel this one. And then the last option, of course, is no light. So there's no light here. So uses no lights. So all geometry is rendered with flat color. Okay, so now I do not like the no lights. I just want the scene lights here. 
Okay, so scene lights for me is good enough. Okay, so basically that's how you change the lighting effect of your model. Now the next one is changing the render mode of your model. Okay, so render mode is this one here. Okay, so rendering shades the scene's geometry using, uh, using the lighting that we have set up and then the materials and environment settings that you have applied. Okay, and in Navisworks, you can use four render modes. As you can see here, we have four render modes here to control how the items are rendered in our scene view. Just remember, this is our scene view, right? Okay, so the first one is full render. Okay, I seldom use the full render because if the model is really big and then there is a material added already to your model, the full render here, if you select that, the model is rendered with smooth shading, including any materials that have been applied with the Autodesk rendering tool or have been brought through from the native CAD file, in our case, from the Revit file. Okay? And also, take note that Autodesk Navisworks does not convert all native CAD files texture. Okay? So just remember that one and if it is a full render sometimes if it is very big the file or our model is very big sometimes uh, you, you will be able to experience a lagging but not all the time because once again once you have inserted or export your file and put it in Navisworks it will become a, uh, a small file and it will become slighter Okay, so usually what I use here is the second, uh, second option. If I do not want to see the material that is applied to the model, I just want to do plainly coordination without any visualization. So usually I just change that to shaded. Okay, and there you go. So that's our shaded view. So in shaded mode, the model is rendered with smooth shading but without textures. Okay, so most of the time, this is the type of render mode that I am using, the shaded view, okay? And then the third one here is wireframe, okay? So there's the wireframe. You can click that. So in wireframe mode, the model is rendered in wireframe. So as Autodesk Navisworks uses uh, triangles to represent surfaces and solids, all triangles edges are visible in this mode okay so you can see there all the elements it's like uh, x-ray it's like an x-ray right okay now the last one here is hidden line okay so let's see that one hidden line so let's click that okay so hidden line so in this mode the model is rendered in wireframe, but only the outline and facet edges of the surfaces that are visible to the camera are displayed. Okay? Unlike the wireframe mode where surfaces are rendered transparent, hidden line mode renders surfaces opaque. Right? Just That's why you will notice it's not x-ray vision like your uh, wireframe view just like that so that's your uh, hidden line okay so basically that's how you edit the model appearance using the render mode tools now the last one is how to change the background effect okay the background effect so let me just change this back to scene lights and shaded view all right Okay, so let's learn how to change the background. As you can see, I already have a background here. Half, half. It's it's the horizontal. Okay, so it's a horizontal background. So how to change that? So all you have to do is to right-click at the blank space, and then you can see there the background. Okay, so select that one. And then as you can see, the current mode that I have is horizon. Okay? So that's the one. So the background of the 3D scene, you will notice here is split across the horizontal plane, giving the effect of a sky and the ground. So you can change the color here, of course, like for example, the sky or the horizon color 
or the horizon ground. So you, you just play around. So let's say I'll just select apply. So that's how you do it. Okay. Right. Apply. There you go. So that's your horizon option. Okay. Now the other one, of course, is the plain background. So again, right click background. Let's change this with a plain background and then just select a color. Of course, I, I want the black color. So I just select your OK. There you go. So there's my uh, plain background. Okay, so the background of the scene is filled with your selected color. So this is the default background style, by the way. So it can be used for 3D models and 2D sheets. And then the last one is graduated or gradient. So select background. Let's change this to graduated. Click that one. And there you go. So it's a gradient color or graduated color. So just apply that one and then OK. Then there you go. So it's graduated color so the background of the scene is filled with a smooth gradient between the two selected colors so again this background can be used for 3d models and 2d sheets and there you have it so basically that's how you control your model appearance by changing the lighting effect your render mode and then your background Okay, so hopefully you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.